All right, we're going to talk about court positioning after you serve. After you serve, whether it's a drive serve or a lob serve, you always want to put yourself in the best court position possible to be in the best place to retrieve their return. So, let's say I serve a lob serve, for instance. Here's the lob serve. Now, I have a choice to make. I can either stand right here and see what the guy's going to do, or I can back up and get into position. So, best thing you want to do is to back up, stay in the center court. You're going to see a formula here when we talk about return to serves. The pattern is always get back to center court, but there's a few ways to do that. So, as I serve, the lob, instead of turning all the way around and exposing myself to getting blasted, if I'm going to get hit, it feels much better to get hit back here than it does up here for many reasons. But the lob serve happens, I, I'm over my shoulder protecting myself as much as I can. If he's going to hit a low shot, I can lift my leg. If he's going to hit a high shot, I can cover. I don't want to turn all the way around. I want to be in the center court position just like this and waiting for, for him to hit a shot. And I'll see what he's going to do. If he's lining up like he's going to hit a hard shot, then I'll anticipate forward. If he's going to a ceiling, then I'll start backing up a little bit and get ready for the ceiling ball. So court positioning is key. That's what it looks like after the serve.